Hi, how's it going? So this will be um, part one of a large homeschool haul. And so yeah, so this is everything I bought my daughter for her sixth grade year for 2024-25 school year. I really started shopping early this year. I kind of just wanted to get it over with. I kind of have some things going on in the summer and towards the end of the summer and I really just wanted to just get her homeschool supplies purchased. So yeah, so stay tuned. Um, thanks for joining me. If you're not subscribed, I'd love for you to do so. I share a lot of um, books throughout the year, what I'm reading, what my daughter's reading, and then also, of course, our homeschool journey. So yeah, I would, I would I'd really love for you to follow me um, if you find my videos interesting and if you already are. I deeply appreciate everyone being here. So I bought everything. I'm going to name where I got everything, but I'm going to link everything on Amazon because it's just easier. And I will link the individual websites possibly. Um, but yeah, I will let you guys know where I, where I purchased everything. And everything that I can link will be linked. And let's get started. So um, now, everything is out of order. I just want to make um, note of that. I will be doing another video later on. I don't know when I'm going to do it, but um, it will be my actual like sixth grade curriculum video. Um, I'm still getting stuff in the mail and I have a few things still I need to order. So this will be, these these first few videos of the hauls will just be like 95% of everything. And then once I get every single thing and do all my planning, I'm going to do probably like maybe like a fifth grade end of the year video like I always do. A sixth grade maybe second planning video and then I'm going to do like my biggest uh, video of the year which is like my sixth grade curriculum video and in that video I'm going to go over everything subject by subject. So this is a um, four vision cat anatomy set. I got this from Rainbow Resource and yeah so for science this year we are going to be studying biology and or mostly focusing on anatomy specifically human anatomy but I thought this was really fun my daughter really likes cats and I thought it'd be an interesting project for us to compare the anatomy of a cat to the anatomy of a human because we have a human body little anatomy. We used to have one little anatomy kit. So yeah, I thought this, I thought this would be really fun. But yeah, I thought this was really cool. Love the black and white cat. I think the brand is 4D Master. So that's the first thing I got her for science. And then the second thing I got was, um, I'm actually trying this out now because our American history we're doing, it's kind of split. We started it for fifth grade and then we're going to be doing the second half of American history for sixth grade. So I bought this book, DK Smithsonian American History of Visual Encyclopedia, and I already kind of started going through it and we're already kind of using it now for fifth grade. And I realized that I kind of prefer it more as a reference book we actually tried to use it for fifth grade i'm gonna talk about that later but i just want to show you guys so this is one of the books that i did purchase for history i'm going to talk about um my fifth grade experience with it at my end of the fifth grade video um year video but yeah so it's kind of just very short um you know because like a two-page spread on a lot of different topics so i kind of felt like we needed a little bit more so I was planning on using this book alone as my as our spine for history for sixth grade, but I realized I'm changing my mind on that. I'm just gonna use it because I already purchased it as like a, um just like a reference to look at photos and stuff. So yeah, so that's the second thing I got. And then the third thing I got, oh yeah, and that's from Am that was from Amazon. So this most of the stuff is from Amazon, like 95% of it, if not more. Um, this is Illustrated Edgar Allan Poe, 25 Poems. Now, this is um, for language arts, and this is also, like I said, from Amazon. This is by, let's see, Moon Shower, I think is the publisher. But yeah, so this is just, um, uh, this is going to be our poetry book for sixth grade. So this book actually is a series of different poets and authors, and I had her choose which one was she was most interested in and she chose Edgar Allan Poe and I thought we could do one of these a week because let's see it has 25 poems so if we did one yeah one a week we'll get through it you know it won't last the whole year but it'll be good enough it's really pretty okay 
So I got this for art. Now this I actually bought used from like either Better World Books or Thrift Books. I did get a variety of items from both of those places. I like, and I also got some stuff from bookoutlet.com. It's kind of just mixed in. But yeah, I like book, book Outlet. I like Better World Books and Thrift Books. Better World and Thrift are both used. And then um, Book Outlet is like new books, but it's like, I don't know, like Overstock or something. But yeah, so I don't remember. Yeah, I think I got this from like um, Thrift or Better World. But this is art for kids drawing. So for sixth grade, I decided that we would focus on drawing. And we're just going to go through this book. I'm not sure. You know, it's like you don't really know. I don't personally know how I'm going to like a book, of course, till I start it. So hopefully I we will like it. But it's just pretty simple. You know, drawing positive and negative space, drawing an apple, shadows. It's for art. And then this is for science. This is the Museum of Odd Body Leftovers. Um, a tour of your useless parts, flaws, and other weird bits. So for science, I had her choose, I forgot how many we settled on, but it was probably like three to six books um, that will accompany her main, our main book for science, um, biology and anatomy, human anatomy. So she picked this one as one of her um, books that she will read as one of her nonfiction science books. Yeah, so that's one of her science books. And then this book is a got is a book I got Everyday Amazing Fantastic Facts for Every Day of the Year um, by Mike Barfield. I th I thought this would be fun just to kind of do as like a little quick intro. I'm not sure if we're going to do it at the beginning of the day when we do language arts or are we going to do it at the beginning of history. But I got this as just a cute little calendar inspired and she can learn you know, whatever day we're on, you know, like February 5th, it's like, you know, it talks about um, the origin of who invented Nutella. And it also has something that <laughs> I was like unexpected. It says arrivals and departures. So it says someone who was born February 5th and it has the date 1985 for this one, Christina, Cristiano, oh gosh, I'm terrible at names, I, Ronaldo. I'm not like a sports person, <laughs> but yeah. And then um, he's not much younger than me. And then departures, uh, someone who um, died on that day. I thought that was like, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that was going to be here. But yeah, so it's like a person who was, yeah, uh, born and died. So this is, um, gosh, I cannot pronounce that. D-A-K-S-H-A-Y-N-A, -A, a famous, oh, it's an elephant. <laughs> 88 year old Indian elephant. So, okay, that died on this day in 2000. Um, 19 so yeah it has that and it has like a fact so I'm not sure if we're gonna do it at the beginning of the day or during history because you know dealing with dates and I think it has a historical kind of vibe to it, of course so yeah regardless I really love the illustrations and I love it now this I did find locally at half price books but this is a usborn flat book see inside your body and I love these. They're very short, but they're very informational for the amount of pages they have. And they're, you know, interactive. So this, of course, will go with her science. And I love how you do a lift the flap. And I think these are great for, like, a lot of different ages. Like, I don't, I don't view this as, oh, this is too young for sixth grade. No, no, no. Because I'm interested in this book. And if I'm interested in this as, like, an adult, then I know she will be. So... It's just like a fun way to learn about things. So sticking with science, I also got, let me show you guys our main book since I'm almost there. And I, I always like mess up words, you guys, sorry. Like I'm not sure, exactly sure how you pronounce it. It's a gorgeous book um, by Big Picture Press as a publisher. And here is the author, I mean curator, yeah, curators. But um, I don't know why I want to use the word anatomy and say like anatomism, but it's, I think, sweet anatomy come. Forget my pronunciation. Let's look at the book. Okay, so it is gorgeous. And we do collect these. Um, so I just decided that we would use it for 
our main book for sixth grade. And it has like, the, it's huge. It has the different chapters. So I already started looking at this book and I made some notes. And I want to pair it with this little body book, easy to make models. And I went ahead and color coded and mashed up um, what chapter correlates to the printout that we're going to be using. And so I was happy to find that we can use these in the majority of the book. But this is our main book. And then I got um, two books to go with it. The book I just showed you guys, the body book by Scholastic, and all of this stuff I got from Amazon. Actually, I got this from Barnes & Noble when I was in there one day. I just decided to buy it, but then I got these from Amazon. So yeah, so this is like, so you have to make printouts of these. You don't, um, yeah, and you like cut them out. But yeah, so I went ahead and marked all the chapters that it correlates to in that Welcome to the Museum book. So she can do some models. So that, science, and then I got this to go with it. It's the activity book. And so this book doesn't like match it perfectly. It's kind of more assorted because I got these books before for other ones. And they're just kind of like a fun little extra thing for her to do. Which of these are, are not a type of blood cell? Circle the microbes. And it has the answers on the back. So yeah, so that also is for science. And then now a couple more things for art. So, so I got these two books, How to Draw All the Things for Kids by Ali, I think it's Koch, and then How to Draw All the Animals for Kids. Because they're pretty short in regards to, I know she'd finished this before the end of the year, so I just got her two. And because we did buy one of these for fifth grade, I'll show you guys. I did show it in my fifth grade curriculum video. It's like how to draw all the flowers. I will show you guys in my end of the year fifth grade um, review. But so it's just like a quick little, you know, drawing um, of a frog. And then, but I'm going to have her expand upon these more where maybe we'll do one like um, in different media. Maybe she'll do one oil pastel. Maybe she'll do another one soft pastel. Maybe she'll do one watercolor. Maybe she'll do one just like pen and ink. So we're going to kind of like play around with these a little bit more than we have been doing in fifth grade. Because I just kind of wanted her to, and here's some pets. I just, more domesticated animals. I just wanted her to do some kind of um not like I, I focus a lot on like process over product art drawing from imagination for all of her early art but now that she's going to sixth grade she pretty much has her own drawing style so i kind of wanted her to just experiment with drawing things like exposure exposure to drawing things that she's not used to drawing like maybe she never drew a strawberry before you know, she did, but yeah, like hypothetically. So it's like, I wanted her to just experiment more. And I thought these books were a fun way to do that. Yeah, so those two go with art. And then I got this for Daily Handwriting Cursive. This is by Evan Moore. So this is like a Monday through Friday, quick little cursive practice. And so it, you know, it even says, I like how it's like coded, you know, it says Monday, Tuesday. So here she practices. It's just like a quick, oh, and then it does have some longer things. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So like Friday, it has them, it has your, your learner copy this quote. And I like how it's educational because this is by E.E. E. Cummings. And so they copy the quote. And it's like, sign your name like E.E. E. Cummings. Use your first two initials and your last name. I love that. And so, yeah, so it does have some little, I think, I don't know if it's every Friday. I didn't really go through. So, yeah, Monday through Thursday, it's like the quick, okay. So, I like that. It's like a pattern. Copy the letters and then the words written in cursive. So, I did get her this. And honestly, this will be her main 
this would be like her main cursive work but then i'll show you guys i also got this other notebook to go and i'm gonna have her do some more stuff in cursive in that notebook but this is gonna be just kind of like her main cursive because we were using handwriting without tears but it ended in fifth grade i'm so sad i love handwriting without tears learning without tears handwriting without but yeah it ended so um i got her that and then for logic i got this logic lift off and again all this stuff is from amazon so we've used these before like years ago these logic workbooks but i haven't used one in a while we've just been mainly doing like the logic puzzles like the um you know, like the 3D ones, like the plastic little toys, like from Smart Games. And I did buy her one of those too. I'll show you in another haul video. But um, so yeah, I decided to go back to the workbook style for once for one of the options. And she usually does logic like on Fridays for a certain amount of time. So that's one of her logic things. And then something else for science. I got her one of her nonfiction science readers. This is called That's Life, Looking for All the Living Things Around You by Mike Barfield. Um, we really like him. I believe that we have, yeah, we have that other other book, Everyday Amazings, by him. And we also have a book that we're reading um, by him now in fifth grade that he's the illustrator. And she, my daughter really likes his illustrations. And, oh, wait, he's the author. I say illustrator. Yeah, sorry. He's the author, not the illustrator. And the illustrator by Lauren Humphrey. But she really likes his writing. So this is just um, a really cool, beautiful, beautiful. I love this. It has like some comic style and then it also has like kind of typical nonfiction kind of style with all the illustrations. I love these illustrated nonfiction books. They're just beautiful. So this one's a little bit more like biology-ish, which, you know, you have, um, you know, just all life. The beginning of life and then life begins and then cells tree of life so this one um isn't just human anatomy so i wanted to get her like just like a little smidget you know like a touch of variety and then another science book is the good germ hotel um and this book is actually shorter than i thought this one's actually a, a picture book size which is like 32 pages no well actually it's a little bit more than 32 pages 38 pages but this one's like really short kind of more like you know like narrative style but that's okay I still think it's really cool about germs which is something we'll be she'll be learning about in science okay so this one um is a history of words for children and this one I thought we'd read it together or she'd read it by herself Kind of like in the beginning, like an entry um, to language arts. So it has quite a few pages. It has like 90, like almost 100 pages. I thought it'd be really interesting for her to learn about the history of words. You know, it talks about, it talks about Helen Keller and different ways people use art. I mean, sorry, uh, language to communicate. And then words and communication, all these different aspects of language, the beginning of language, you know, it's very interesting. The first writing, I like how it incorporates photography also. Speeches, spoken word, the last word. So yeah, so even computer language. So it's just like all, all different aspects of language. Now I have a set, I'm calling them a set now. These are very, 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 very popular with a lot of homeschool people, but this is like my first time I've purchased their products. And that is a company called School Nest. So these are all from School Nest. Um, the first one I got is a history timeline notebook. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. That I really want us to build a timeline, which we played around with a history timeline like many, many years ago, but I didn't like the one we purchased and we just stopped using it. And I realized that we have a lot to catch up on because we're literally, we're literally like 
in the 1900s right now in history. So we're gonna have to like go all the way back and fill it in. But I thought we could do that in future years, possibly like, you know, but this is history timeline notebook. I got all of these from Amazon. And this is, so it's talk, it's, it starts off with like your own, they could write their own history and fill in. And then it goes, starts like, I like how it's like prehistory and then it, um, okay, yeah, prehistory and then ancient times. It's like the best of ancient times. And then I'll probably do like a, a more lengthy review of these later. But yeah, so it starts with um, 6000 BCE, of course. And then we have, wow, like, yeah, so we're pretty far, you know now but i thought it'd be like a nice way to kind of um do history i mean keep track of timelines and things like that so this is a sixth grade notebook so this is basically just a blank notebook one side is you know like the graphing paper style or whatever you call that the dot the dotted and then the other side is like you know, the notebook style, the line, and then you have the little area up here to put the date. So I got this thinking mainly we would, she would use it for her cursive. And then also like, um, I'm going to have her do other, some other random things and just have it all in this one notebook versus buying different notebooks. So yeah, so every day she'll be probably using this for cursive and then she can choose. And then we might, I'm, I'm going to think of some other things, but yeah, I'll talk about that later. And then this is a science notebook um, to go along with a lot of these illustrated books because she's going to be reading these on her own. I told her I wanted her to do the science notebook with it. So I like how it's the draw right now. It has like the draw right now style for you call it copy and draw and write. Um, I forgot what these exact are called, but uh, yeah, draw and write style. And so on one side, it also like same thing. It has like the dotted graph. I don't not I'm saying graphic, I kind of like dotted. Okay. And then the right side, um, the blank for drawing, blank space for drawing, and then the lines. So I want her to use these with these nonfiction illustrated books so she could draw something from um each book she'll have to do a certain amount of these. Like this book's so short, but you know what I mean? So then she'll draw something from it and then write about it. So then I'll know when I go back and like I don't have to say like what what did this book contain i can just because that's what we do now i kind of have her review things with me but then we can just get it down on paper so we're gonna try that um for science because she has a lot a lot of science illustrator readers this year and then the last thing i got um from school nest is the student planning notebook so the main motivation so we do use like a, a like a really lay back style of planning right now for fifth grade, but we're really motivated. Like, I don't know if we're going to use like all of these things. I don't know, but I really like how it has a book list. I was able to fit two notebooks in one in this because normally I get her a book log separate, you know, and then she has like a planner that's separate. So I really like that she has a book list right here and it's simple. We like the simple style, just the date, the title, the author, and the rating. I like how it had that and then I like how it's pretty, um, you can kind of personalize it, things like that, like weekly assignments and then monthly things. So yeah, I didn't really, and then it has like, I like how it has samples in the back. Also has like contacts. Um, and they give you, I like how she gives you like, or the company, uh, I think it's, yeah. Um, in the back, they give you samples of like how you can do, like use the different things. I'm going to let her kind of personalize how she wants to, but yeah. Okay, you guys, that's everything for this video. So this is part one. So, um, I definitely will have some more coming out because I have like a big stack of stuff. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Have a good day or night. Bye.